Bora, Zu. Hi guys, welcome to today's lesson on how to play the second solo from All Along the Watchtower, the one that kicks in in about 50 seconds or so of the track, as just after Jimmy goes, hey, hey, which is a cool bit. This is the second time I've recorded this video. Turns out my old amp might need some looking at because the buzz was unbelievable. So we'll crack on with a quieter amp. Let's go, go, go. Basically, as before in the previous solo, it's, we're all in E flat basically, so everything is uh, tuned down a semitone. So this E has become an E flat, this A has become an A flat, etc., etc., all the way down. So although it feels like we're playing an E major, which will be mostly in this position, position 5 E major, or and position 1 E major. Oh, hello. There we go. Um, position 1 E major, those are the two positions we're playing in. It feels like we're playing an E, but we're actually playing an E flat major because of the tuning of the guitar. Same as before. Um, so yeah, let's just crack on as usual. This is the way we'll do it. You'll hear me playing it, no backing track, just me playing it so you can hear what I'm going through. I'll go through the four licks uh, with relative, you know, relative speed, try and keep things moving. Uh, and then we'll have a little recap at the end. What I'll do is I'll make sure I play each lick quite slowly after I've gone through it as well. So you'll have the full solo in a, in a second or two, and then you'll have each lick played slowly. In this case, it's four licks. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'll see you guys in a sec when I try and muddle my way through this solo. Okay, so that was me muddling my way through the solo. Hopefully it sounded okay. I do find that quite difficult, that final lick. I, just the way I pick it, just the way I, I hold my picks on and where my hand shape is, I don't find it very easy. Anyway, that's very boring. I could explain why, but I won't right now. Let's just crack on and go through the licks. I'm sure you guys will play them much better than I do. Four licks, as I said. So the first lick starts, actually it's a pickup just after he says hey, um, and just I say around about 50 seconds, it's going to be uh, 9th fret on the E, then 12th fret on the B. And then what we're going to do is we're going to play those two notes but as a unison bend. And then I'm going to play them again as a unison bend, but this second time on the bend, I'm going to go up, down, and pull off to 9 on the B. Okay? Then I'm going to repick 9. Sorry, I had an itchy head, had to scratch. Then I'm going to play 9 on the B and then 11 on the G as a double stop. Then I'm going to bend 11 on the G. And then as I come down slowly, I'm going to pull off to 9. I won't carry on. That's where I'm going to stop lick 1. It's, it's kind of, uh, it flows straight into lick 2, but that's where I'm going to stop lick 1. Okay, so that's it. Let me play it through really, really slowly for you. Lick one, lick two, 11 on the D string. Nine on the G. Then I'm gonna slide from 11 to 13 on the G. Then 12 on the B. Then 14 on the B. Nice big bend, lots of vibrato. Then I'm gonna do this rake. What I do here is I'm gonna deaden the D and the G string and play 14 on the B. And I'm gonna rake my pick down. So I'm strumming slowly, basically, and it's gonna be dead, dead, 14 on the B. Then 12 on the B, then another bend on 14. Like that, so that is lick two. Little run up the scale, move from position five to position one. Love that little rake into a nice big bend. Lick two, pretty simple one so far. The first two licks, the double stop bend pull off is a bit annoying, but the rest, not too bad. So lick three, this is where we start getting into the realm of those crazy Jimi Hendrix up, down, up bends, um, where intonation becomes key. And um, I, you know, show my weakness in, in intonation bends because I often bend a bit flat. Something wrong with my ears, I reckon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend the 14th fret on this, this is beginning of lick three. Bend 14th fret on the B string up, 
then down, but not all the way back down, a bit of the way back down, and then back up again. Effectively, it sounds like he's doing three frets, which is a, a tone and a half, and then he's going back down to, to you know, somewhere around one tone, um, so two frets, and then back up again to that three frets. That's what it, that's what it sounds like. Whether that's how I play it, uh, two different things. I'll try and do it right, but you know me. Right, so uh, I went down a little far, but you get the idea. Then another bend, 14 on the B string. This time again, it's, it's basically kind of like a three fret bend. That slightly sharp sound is what he's getting quite a lot in this song, which is cool. So, then a third kind of bend. This time we're gonna bend up and down, like that. Then 12 on the B, 14 on the B. Then I'm gonna bend 12 on the B. Two tone bend, so a, a, a two fret bend. Sorry, two to, two frets, one tone. Sorry, um, so bending that twelve to that note there. Then twelve on the B. Okay, that's the end of lick three. I said that I was like I was going to do another note, but there isn't another one. So that's lick three. So start with the big bend up, down, up. Yeah. That's uh, lick three. So lick four, the final one. This is where we've got a lot of notes going on. This is the bit that I find quite difficult to play with my the way I hold my pick. Um, I find that it much easier to move on up picks than down picks, and so I'm moving on a down pick. Anyway, wait, I'm getting boring. Right, let's go. We're going to play 11 on the D. I'm going to slide into that from somewhere probably around 9. Then 9 on the G. Running up a scale, classic. 11 on the G. So, uh, tone bend, then 9 on the B, 9 on the E, then I'm going to do a little bend on 12 on the B, and it's only going to be a 1 fret bend, a, a semitone, 9 on the E, then on the B string 12 to 9, I'm picking both of those, so already we've got this, I'll go through this first bit slowly. really I'm gonna do that kind of a noise where I'm almost got a dead hit on this 12th fret on the G string so pinky is grabbing 12th fret on the G string for me you could use your ring finger for me I find it more comfortable with my pinky and I'm slightly deadening it but sometimes it rings out then I'm gonna play 9 on the B and 9 on the G and it's very much a rake feel that kind of a feel to the pick sorry about that so after that rake bit 12 on the G 9 9 let's say that might be a dead hit, but I rake it down so yeah that's what it sounds like to me. Then 12 on the B, 9 on the B. Then on this G string, we're going to play that G note, which sounds super cool. It's outside the key, but it does sound cool. 12, 11, 9. 11 on the D. Then 11 on the G bend. 9, kill that note. And then 9 on the G as well. Lots of vibrato. Then I'm going to slide up to around 18. Then mm. slide away to nothing. Okay, so that's my final lick. Let me play that one through for you slowly. Lick four. And that's it. I don't know why I left that weirdly long pause, um, but I did. And that's it, that's lick four. So there's only four licks in this solo, more complicated than the first solo, the intro solo. I'll make sure I put a link in the description down below to me teaching that solo. So this is lick two, no, sorry, solo two with these four quite complicated licks. As I said, hopefully my playing through is okay. I do find this solo difficult to play, particularly that end bit. Um, you know, it's a Jimi Hendrix solo though. You know, you do find things like that quite difficult. I do anyway. I don't know I'm talking rubbish. Let's go. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. Um, I hope you can play this solo. You'll probably play it better than me. It's a really cool solo. Um, just make sure your guitar is tuned down to E flat and it will be cool. Um, if you did like the video and you did enjoy it, please like the video. It 
genuinely really, really, really helps me. Please comment on the video. Again, it really helps and please subscribe to the channel. They all really help um, content creators. So that's why we always ask you to do it and we always appreciate it so much. Um, I will do the longer solo, um, but I'll probably have to break it down into smaller sections because it's such a long solo, it'd be just the most ridiculously long video. So I'll probably break it down into smaller sections, but I will do that soon. And I'll probably have a look at the outro Eunice and Ben solo as well. So those are to come. Um, and so those will come up in the next few weeks. Hopefully you'll like those as well. If there's any um, songs you'd like me to do, please, you know, put it in the, the comments and, and I'll add that to my to-do list. Um, yeah, but thanks for watching and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.